Ila Kosula Barusa. All right, in the name of Jesus, spiritual deafness is over right now. All right, you are entering a season of clarity in the realm of the spirit. All right, you are entering a season of clarity in the realm of the spirit. There is no confusion for you. There is no confusion about your life assignment. There is no confusion of your status in Christ. You are entering a new season right now. A season of clarity. In the name of Jesus. You see, some of you, it's just once in a year that you can say, Ah, this can only be God. But for someone right now, all right, it is happening daily in your life. It is happening daily in your life. Things to rejoice over is increasing right now. Things to rejoice over is increasing right now. All right, as you're saying, ah, over one, you will say, ah, over another one. As you're saying, oh my God, over this one, you will be rejoicing over another. As you're sharing testimony over one, you'll be sharing testimony over another. All right, you're entering a season of overlapping testimonies, a season of overlapping encounters. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody declare new season, greater testimonies. Somebody say, Good at testimonies. Come on, let me hear your amen. Somebody shout amen. And there shall be another sound. The sound of joy. The sound of rejoicing. The sound of the bride. How many brides are in this house? The sound of the bridegroom. How many bridegrooms are in this house? Lord, our God is faithful. We're entering into a new season. Multiple testimonies. Multiple testimonies. Multiple testimonies. Have you forgotten that when the year multiplied impact and the Lord said to us in Amos chapter 9, and verse 13 in the message version he said everywhere we look blessings everywhere we look blessings I'm declaring concerning you this morning when you look to the north you will see blessings when you look to the south you will see blessings when you look to the east you will see blessings when you look to the west you will see blessings is someone ready for the overflow is someone ready for the overflow is someone ready for the overflow you are entering into a new realm right now. We are entering into a season of eating treasures. The Bible says, ask of me and I will show you, Jeremiah 33 and verse 3, the deep and secret things that you do not know. Treasures hidden in your destiny that your eyes have not seen before. In the name of Jesus, your eyes are open right now. Begin to see your opportunities. Begin to see your opportunities. Begin to see your opportunities. See your See opportunities in agriculture. See opportunities in businesses. See opportunity in banking. See opportunity in information technology. See opportunities in ministry. See opportunities all around you. Everywhere you look, blessings. Everywhere you look, blessings. Tell someone beside you, tighten your seat belts. All right, you've been traveling with cars before. You're about to take a flight. You are about to take a flight. Nourishing ground, you are about to take a flight. You are about to take a flight. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Now, sometimes ago I was serving as a co member, and a church in Lagos invite, was to invite me to come preach. And I said to them, I'm very far away. I'm in Hakwai Bomb State, and it's going to take me hours to get to you. The person said it takes you just 45 minutes. It depends on the vehicle you are entering. It depends on your mode of transport. Ah, the last time I checked, I ride on the wings of the spirit. The last time I checked, I was carried on eagle's wings. Hey! From today, it is happening fast for you. From today, it is happening fast for you. Your life is gathering speed. Your life is gathering speed. Can I... Can, can, can I just step into the grace that I've received by relationship with fathers? My father declared to me this year, as I was entering to a new year, my father declared it to me. My dear pastor also declared it over my life. He said, you will see the harvest of 10 years in one year. You will see the harvest of 10 years in one year. It is going to happen so fast. Somebody declared it is happening fast. Hey, I can hear you. I can't hear you. You know it will be happening so far. It says your head will be swimming. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Ah, 
Aki koto kese le mi ti shele. I be fast on the heels of the other. He says you won't be able to keep up. Woo! You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, everywhere you look, when you look into your family, when you look into your academics, when you look into your business, everywhere you look, when you look into your career, when you look into that plan, when you even look into the camp of the enemy. Blessings. Everywhere I look from today. Ah, if you have not been seeing blessings, you are not looking in the right place. You are not checking well. You are not looking well. Hey, because right now, ah, there are people in this house. There are people in this house under the influence of my voice right now. Under this atmosphere, you've been in your aga moment. You've been crying because you could not see. But right now, you are enjoying an angelic visitation. Your eyes are open to your wells beside you. You were crying for a bottle of water, but the Lord is giving you a well of water. You were crying for a bottle of water, but the Lord is giving you a well of water. In the name of Jesus, somebody say amen. The Bible says blessings like wine, pouring on what? The mountains and the hills. Ah, once has the Lord spoken. Twice have I heard. Enter your season of planting. Hear me, this is nourishing ground now. This is nourishing ground now. This is nourishing ground now. And thus say the word of the Lord. Ye shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. You shall bring forth your fruit in due season. And he says, whatsoever I do it. He says, your leaves shall not wither. And whatsoever I do it shall prosper. I'm declaring concerning someone. You are already planned in your nourishment. You are planned in your nourishment. This ground will nourish your life. This ground will nourish your marriage. This ground will nourish your family. Somebody Somebody say amen. This ground will nourish your career. This ground will nourish your spiritual growth. In the name of Jesus, your leaves shall not wither. Your leaves shall not wither. There is no more withering around you. There is no more weakness around you. Are you ready? You will bring forth fruit in your own season. Your season will not pass you by. 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 I am seeing men full of fruits in this house. I am seeing men full of fruits in this house. Ikala barosha And then say whatsoever. Hear me. In nourishing ground, if you choose to sell sell sand. If you choose to sell sand, the covenant of this house will multiply you. Ah, the Bible says, and out of their midst shall proceed the voice of thanksgiving. It says, I, the Lord their God, I will multiply them. They will not be little. I will glorify them. They will not be small. E kali kato kapeya gebelu zukupata ilaka kakoto i gebeloto katia gaduse ele baraba koto lekete leketosha. Your doors of multiplication are open now. They are open now. 